Okay, uh, welcome everyone to a part two of our Volcano X live stream. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and uh, you're of course watching Volcano X. It's awesome. Um, and uh, thanks uh, for the uh, welcome back there, Grandma B. And uh, Henry says, Hear ya. Uh, sound is a bone. Okay. Uh, thanks uh, there, uh, Pepper and uh, Billy Bob. Uh, Joe going five by five. That is awesome. Appreciate that, you guys. And uh, going to uh, continue uh, with uh, um, our stuff here. Well, actually, it's uh, just about break time. What we're going to have next, though, is uh, bacon seeds after the break. So uh, that'll uh, be uh, pretty cool and uh, I'm uh, still uh, cleaning up on the other side here uh, waiting uh, to uh, get uh, things uh, done there as well okay we'll uh, close that one out uh, so many buttons to click and push and uh, try to remember to do everything boy boy it's uh, just a blast <laughs> and uh, yep I did that one in the bunny stream all right so uh, welcome on board everyone. I know uh, the uh, numbers are still going up so a few of uh, you that haven't made it over yet are uh, probably still on their way and uh, thank you for that and of course uh, for uh, those others and uh, I know some uh, people don't like bacon seeds but hey uh, we uh, we like them so we're gonna put them on after I come back from the break. Uh, for uh, you good people who are here, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, since uh, this is a new stream, please uh, give it a quick bop. Help us out, and uh, the faster we get up to that 100 mark, uh, the uh, more likely YouTube will help us out with its analytics. So, uh, very, very cool. And uh, welcome to uh, Mr. Pillar. We got Susie and Sasha and Helene and... Uh, uh, Candace O and uh, Pemper and uh, Sue of course and uh, Dennis is uh, here and a whole bunch more so um, yeah I seen uh, Grandma B and who else I, anyway I'm going to go for that break you guys don't go away and we'll have a lot more after the break especially bacon seeds keep smiling everyone I'll be back
and there we go that microphone is back on and welcome or welcome back everyone i'm your host dr fox 2000 you're watching volcano x live stream and of course we're continuing to watch our wonderful and uh, peninsula uh, there in iceland and it is such a beautiful uh, eruption and i'm very happy it is continuing to go and um, I mean we're on uh, what are we a day uh, what are we day 20 27 or 28 uh, something like that a couple more days and it'll be a full month and uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome it's uh, the 12th today and on the 16th is uh, when it started so yeah four more days it'll be uh, a whole uh, a month worth which is a uh, pretty awesome uh, to see that um, people were asking, where is it uplifting? Yeah, in general, all of Iceland is uplifting, <laughs> very slowly. But uh, the area there for Schwarzenegger and uh, that uh, region uh, is uh, where it is uh, most prominent and uh, moving up uh, uh, faster than uh, what we normally see. Now, one of the things we don't see there is the quakes. And, um, you know, the... Uh, the pressure uh, from uh, the uh, magma intrusion, of course, will uh, cause the uh, uplift of the land, and you get a breakage and uh, cracking and stuff like that. But uh, we're already pretty much done with that. Anyway, uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs, everyone, uh, from uh, Sasha and uh, Mr. Pillar and uh, Susie and uh, Kananaska's country and Sue. And where is that Sharon Stewart hiding? And thanks, uh, Andre. Uh, appreciate that. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, get over to our wonderful bacon seeds. Though it is that time. I wouldn't say uh, never, Dr. Fox, uh, with the way the uplift is going. Well, hey, we like the uplift. You know, with the, the, the thing is, what, what happens is, uh, you know, what we had previously is um, when the, the volcano erupted a little bit there in these areas, it would run for a little while and then shut down. And then the uplift would start all over again. But now we have an active volcano. And what does it do once it gets to that magic threshold? Are we going to just see more volcano? <laughs> or are we going to see this thing cycling? And that's going to be interesting uh, to uh, see. It is bacon seed time. Let's get over there. And uh, that, of course, was the last one from yesterday uh, from our wonderful piggy. And uh, here is uh, the first one of uh, today. And I think you better get that hogwash button ready. Because uh, these guys are looking uh, looking uh, pretty uh, dirty. <laughs> um well, this one's got uh, the boots uh, to uh, go along with it. Daryl, welcome. Uh, Daryl Spurlock is uh, on board as well. Uh, welcome, uh, Daryl. And next, a bacon seed. Ah, that's an oink oink. Uh, but he needs a hogwash. Um, yep, uh, there you go. Uh, that's uh, that pig talking to you. But uh, you need to get a hogwash out there uh, for that one. And uh, let's uh, get to our next one. Uh, there we go. Uh oh, more hogwash material required. Uh, these uh, guys look like they're out and about and just enjoying uh, rooting around. And uh, they uh, don't look like they're starving. So uh, very, very cool. And uh, yep, Henry, I would uh, definitely get uh, that hogwash on high uh, for these guys. Let's see and what the next one looks like. Oh, he's a more of a bacon seed. Uh, he's a little guy, but he needs a hogwash too. He's been outside uh, roughing around. I uh, gotta love it. And uh, that looks pretty awesome. And uh, let's uh, get to our next uh, bacon seed. Ah, okay. Uh, this guy, I think we can skip the hogwash. He's uh, already uh, ready to snooze in his uh, hay there. He's uh, getting his, or straw, uh, well, there's straw and hay there. He's uh, getting his bed all fluffed up. So um, he'll uh, be uh, burying himself and staying warm. 
uh, he uh, just wants a buddy to sleep with, that's all. And uh, they uh, like having company. Uh, humongous ears, yeah. And uh, let's uh, continue on. Uh, oh, get that hogwash back out. Here's some uh, more ears. <laughs> and uh, that one is uh, definitely needing uh, some. Uh, he'll grow into those ears uh, eventually, yep. Yeah, the uh, definitely need a uh, hogwash for uh, that one. Um, let's uh, continue on and uh, see what else uh, we got. Uh, two little grayish, uh, blackish colored ones who need a hogwash too. What the heck? Everybody needs hogwashes today. These are a bunch of dirty pigs. Huh. Uh, even uh, that guy doesn't look so happy. He's a uh, dirty. <laughs> uh, the look on uh, that face, it's got th that smile when you look at him. And uh, those are huge, huge ears. And we uh, just got to love it. Uh, all a straw. Yep. Uh, in uh, this one. And uh, these guys are, that's a bedding material. Um, they like it. It's a, just a comfy place to relax. And let's uh, go to our next one. Now here we got a bacon seed, okay? This is just a tiny little guy. And a hander, one hander. And uh, that is a uh, pretty awesome. I like it. And uh, let's see uh, what else we got. Our last uh, bacon seed of uh, today is another one hander. And uh, that is uh, this one. Oh, hey, we got a bonus bacon seed uh, too. We're gonna have to show that. And uh, this, I think this one looks uh, really, really nice. No hogwash required. This one is clean as a whistle. And um, uh, what are they all cuddles until it's a time for gravy? <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Uh oh. Uh, the uh, one here has a funny expression on his face after he heard that. This is our bonus bacon seed, and he's uh, sitting inside his uh, little comfy, uh, comfy uh, bed or chair or whatever it is. Uh, whistles uh, are clean. How do you know? Uh, it's Su <laughs> Susie. Uh, fuzzy Wuzzy was a piggy. Absolutely. And a big thank you to Piggy for sending in these wonderful bacon seeds as usual. Uh, Piggy has uh, gone, uh, gone to sleep or uh, trying to relax a little bit. So uh, hopefully she is doing all right and uh, resting now. Uh, anyway, uh, gravy wavy. Yep, uh, we'll uh, leave that. But a uh, big uh, thank you to Piggy for sending uh, these uh, bacon seeds in once again. And she uh, does such a good job at that. Um, anyway, let's uh, continue uh, on. Uh, that's the uh, 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 bonus bacon seed here is uh, five, uh, sorry, 6,580 uh, bacon seeds. So I'm uh, pretty sure we got about uh, 6,000 different ones. Uh, there might be about 500, 600 uh, 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 doubles in there, but, uh, you know, that's uh, quite a few. That's, um, yeah, uh, 6,000 uh, pigs, that's a few. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of bacon, amigos. Um, yeah, anyway, let's uh, carry on uh, to other fun uh, places and see what else in the world we got going on. And I think our next stop will be, uh, where will it be? It will be over in uh, a place that's uh, buffering, uh, Merapi. And uh, there we go. Uh, whoop, we uh, need to fix that there, Merapi. Uh, Merapi on uh, Java, Central Indonesia. And uh, that is uh, pretty cool, uh, but uh, cloudy. I'm uh, moving uh, back in time a little bit. We see a little bit more of the uh, volcano. Don't see anything during the daylight. Looking at this, uh, though, looks kind of neat over on the uh, top uh, left with that cloud uh, sitting on top of there. And uh, likely some uh, lenticular cloud formation of uh, sorts. Uh, looking a little bit more like we might have had some lava flowing. 
Let's see if we can back that up a little bit more. I'm, I'm looking for lava now. Uh, the, it didn't really have the greatest of visibility, so uh, we may not see a heck of a lot here. Um, there's a little bit uh, coming down the hill, and of course the color camera. We're not seeing uh, too much uh, from it. And, uh, yep, yeah, Merapi is uh, not making me happy. Uh, definitely not. A little bit of a plume coming out the top, but no visibility on the other cameras. So uh, that is not so good. Uh, a little bit more visibility, but still no lava flows to speak of. And we will leave it as that. There's a little bit of lava there. I don't see any there. I wonder if we can just slide it back a tiny bit and see if we had some bacon up there. No, we have clouds up there, but no bacon. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. So it, it is got a little reddish tinge to it, but uh, we uh, do not see anything. Uh, it is, it uh, does have a little reddish tinge. Uh, speaky proper English, uh, yeah. All right, um, that's it for Merapi in central Java. Um, hopefully it'll give us uh, some more lava tomorrow. I hope. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take a look and see uh, what uh, Madame Rutsa has uh, for a uh, Taal. And uh, we uh, do have a new uh, video there. And there's a Taal volcano, and she's uh, panning back and forth. And uh, that is uh, from today at uh, 2 p.m., as you can see, at uh, their time. And uh, the uh, volcano is uh, doing nothing. So. Uh, that is uh, pretty uh, pretty much it for uh, to all, and uh, we uh, don't see anything uh, pluming out of it. All quiet on uh, that front, so uh, pretty cool. And uh, thank you, uh, Madam Rutsa, for uh, sending that out. Uh, by the way, if uh, you guys ever want to go uh, have a look, uh, we uh, do um, encourage. Uh, you know, when we're using stuff like this. Uh, we do encourage you to go over and, uh, you know, uh, do some um, snooping around there and uh, say hi or something on uh, one of their live streams and uh, keep them happy and let them know where the traffic is coming from. So, uh, pretty uh, cool. Anyway, that is uh, good for uh, that one. And uh, there is Madame Roots' links uh, for the shorts. Uh, but uh, you can always uh, go... Uh, have a look um, there on your own. Um, not so good there at Mount Rapehu. And uh, that is a cloudy as all get out. And we've got some uh, fast moving uh, storm clouds here. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Um, I don't think we've seen anything earlier either. Uh, I was uh, trying to get uh, back to the early uh, wee hours of the morning here. And uh, it didn't uh, show, oh, was uh, trying to zoom in on the carrot. And uh, there's, oh, yeah. Oh, let's uh, back that up a little bit. Uh, there's a Mount Rapehu there, but it's uh, covered in cloud work. And just at dawn, it was actually clear sky up top, but uh, right there, just covered up. So I'm not able to see anything from a Mount Rapehu. It doesn't get a thumbs up today either. Uh, wonky donkey, your carrot is still intact. And uh, let's uh, go uh, to our next one. And uh, this, of course, uh, going to reflect uh, the uh, same type of weather we were just seeing uh, there. And uh, that uh, system, of course, is moving uh, from over there at uh, Mount Ruapehu uh, towards these guys over here at uh, Taupo. And uh, that's... Uh, the uh, lake, of course, is the caldera for Taupo, and uh, that uh, is a fairly large uh, caldera, and it is filled with water, and it is a super volcano, so if it ever went, we'd be in trouble. And uh, when it's clear, we can see Mount Ruapehu in uh, the background here at the uh, southern end. All right, um, we'll uh, leave that there. Tomorrow they'll have, uh, today is Saturday there at 1.30 p.m., and um, let's see, um, um, 
Why is uh, uh, Kananaska's country? Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not trying to read Taupo's weather. You keep on bringing up your weather. <laughs> uh, anyway, a Sioux uh, brought up of the uh, Taupo's weather. 14 degrees Celsius at 57 Fahrenheit. And it says a cloudy with a temperature of 57 or 14. Uh, 14 mile per hour winds and 23 kilometer per hour winds, if you want to call them that. 80% of relative humidity, and it does look like to me like it was uh, raining there. So, um, no fleas till tomorrow, Sasha. Uh, Sasha, tomorrow, flea market. It's uh, getting ready for our fleas. Uh, kind of neat looking campers these guys got. I like this little mi micro bus. That is uh, kind of cool. Uh, looks neat. <laughs> anyway, uh, looking at uh, what we got though, it does look like it is a break time. And uh, we'll uh, get out of uh, some of these uh, things here. And uh, put uh, that, oh, I forgot to do something. Well, that's okay. Uh, we'll uh, get uh, the other screen, the one that's uh, buffering, uh, going again. And I will go take a break. Uh, maybe it will go. Maybe it won't go. Go live. That's silly. Okay, and then I will have to refresh. And it wants to make it smaller. I don't know why it wants to make it smaller. Uh, anyway, it's uh, back to normal. So uh, for uh, those good people who are here, if you have uh, not yet hit that like button, give it a quick bump. Also, if you have uh, not yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. And on that friendly note, I am going to go take a break. I will be back in uh, a few uh, minutes. Uh, I guess about two or three songs. And uh, we'll uh, continue on with the show. Um, so we uh, did Hawaii. We had a look at uh, uh, Iceland stuff. We had a look at uh, Mexico, South America. And uh, we're, uh, we had a look at the Indonesian stuff. So. I guess Japan is probably our next stop after we come back from the break. Here is some music. Keep smiling. I'll be back. Thanks.
there we go. The microphone is back on. It's in Bali. Oh, Grin Singh is in Bali. Awesome. Cool. I like that. And that's a good place to go. And thank you, Sue. And uh, thanks for the uh, welcome back uh, there from uh, Sasha and uh, Kananaskas country and uh, Barbara and uh, Central uh, Java. No, uh, Bali is not in Central Java unless there's another one. Uh, Bali is the island just to the east. And uh, thank you uh, there, uh, Andre and the Sioux. Any volcanoes are there, Sioux, on um, uh, Bali? Uh, there's uh, some extinct ones, but nothing um, erupting. Um, the closest one probably be over on Java, and uh, that is likely Ijen. Uh, Ijen is uh, probably the closest one. And uh, oh, a uh, good night, uh, Andre. Uh, take care, uh, rest well, and get some sleep. And uh, all the best to you. Uh, oh, uh, there's a, a different one there in Central Java. Okay, uh, interesting. Um, rinsing, and that is uh, so. Uh, there's a couple of them. I guess it's a popular name over there, huh? All right. Hey, uh, while we're on the um, discussion of uh, things. Um, number one is, um, yep, we got one bunny eating for uh, those who are bunny lovers and need to know. Uh, he's in uh, the dome. And uh, the other thing, uh, a little bit of an announcement for next week. And uh, Monday, I will have to go out of town and it will be an overnight trip, unfortunately. So Monday night, we will not have a show and I do believe also on uh, Thursday I have to go out of a town and a Thursday night we will not have a show uh, so at least it's uh, broken up a little bit so we will have uh, shows in between uh, but um, uh, Monday night and a Thursday night no show next week just so you're aware of it and due to out of town work I'll be up in Cold Lake and uh, I have to do uh, um, kind of a, a bank thing there so um, it's gonna take well uh, sort of because of the flip over I have to be there late afternoon kind of thing to make that happen but I am uh, staying overnight there so all good and uh, so I'll be back uh, for a Tuesday show and I'll be back uh, for a Friday's show so uh, do you have anyone uh, uh, to refresh a uh, cam views uh, or I do that remotely uh, there, Lucien. Uh, that's um, what I've uh, been doing. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have uh, noticed that. All of a sudden it comes back on. It's uh, me in the background uh, using my uh, trusty uh, phone to uh, reset things. So um, that does work. But I uh, really need to get a, a new phone uh, to... Uh, really do that better but um yeah the uh, wraparound edge on my uh, s9 is not the best for uh, that any any desk software that i use and uh, but it is um i really do appreciate the fact though that it is just on the phone i don't need to carry the laptop around i can just uh, use the phone to reset things um like um, but it's uh, very difficult unfortunately because it's so darn small and I have you know I'm getting older you know harder to see but um, anyway uh, where the heck were we we were gonna go to Japan so let's uh, do that uh, let's see if uh, the ice cream boat oh no oh no a uh, get your speedboat ready and get it in the drink now and uh, before he gets out of the harbor uh, the uh, pink ice cream boat's leaving. Darn it. I hate when they do that to us. Um, yep, uh, Sue, and uh, we'll get him though. Sue's got the uh, stealth uh, boat, and she's on her way. And there she goes, and uh, we can see it. It's uh, just about to leave the harbor. She'll get ice cream uh, for us. I hate when they leave early. <laughs> it's either that or we get there late, uh, one of the two. 
Uh, but um, yep, a Sue's on the way. That's all good. A Miami Vice a style Sue. Yep. Um, raspberry orange buttermilk ice cream with uh, chocolate sauce. I don't know if uh, they've got that one on board there, but uh, go for it, Barbara. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to um, go let's look at the other ones here. So in the background, uh, Sakurajima, and uh, we can barely see it because of the uh, fogginess. And um, there it is, kind of a not much to uh, look at right now. And if we uh, go back a little further in time, and kind of interesting uh, cloud, the way the uh, stuff is up in the sky here. And just it kind of uh, lights up the steamy uh, events are coming from from the vents. Uh, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, getting into uh, twilight, uh, we uh, do see that, and uh, that is at uh, 5:13 a.m. And if we uh, get back into a uh, nighttime, we looks like uh, we've got a little bit of moonlight, but hardly anything coming out of uh, Sakurajima and uh, going uh, further back in time and uh, we uh, see about the same thing so nothing really uh, prominent there and uh, i'd say it's been a pretty quiet volcano so yeah let's uh, leave uh, that one be uh, the days are getting longer there which is really nice and uh, let's see what this one has to offer and uh, this is asama no this is aso ASO, I thought I clicked the Sama first. Uh, ASO, of course, uh, continuing to uh, smoke. And uh, the reason I make the mistakes with the identifying them, they're all in uh, Japanese. <laughs> and I can't read Japanese. Anyway, that looks uh, pretty um, calmed down compared to uh, what we were seeing a couple of weeks ago. But if we uh, go back a little bit here, we can see it was uh, continuing to a D gas there doing its thing earlier we've seen a little heavier plume I, I don't know how far back that is that's about uh, three hours 40 minutes ago and if we go to about here just before sun arise uh, let's see if we can uh, spot this uh, will it go uh, just a tiny bit of glow there maybe we need to go back a little further and let's see if we can spot that glow. Come on, you can do it there, Volcano. I know you can. Oh, all right. Will I go to about here? Will that help? No, about here? There we go. Okay, lava glow. That is awesome. So we know there is still a lava in ASO. And we can see that it's in two areas. One over here, one over there. Obviously, this one's bigger right now. And that is a pretty cool. So, uh, awesome to see that. Let's uh, put it back on the live. And uh, that is the current condition there at ASO. And, of course, we are in the huge caldera of ASO. This is just a one small vent. And uh, that is uh, a one small event in a, a giant leap of a uh, caldera. No, hang on, that's a moon landing. That's a little different. Uh, anyway, the uh, ASO is about uh, uh, 19 kilometers east to west and uh, 25 kilometers north to south. So, uh, tiger tail for me. Yay! Thank you. Appreciate that, sir. And we'll make that one smaller and we'll go to our next one. This is Asama. Uh, but uh, the uh, looks all the same, doesn't it? Why is that one buffering? It shouldn't be. Um, anyway, we got a little bit of um, degassing happening there. A lot of that snow melted. So obviously things are warming up in Japan. And if we go back a little bit more, we do still see about the same amount of uh, light pluming going on. Um, hard to tell what's going on. It does look like it's right there, but uh, very hard to see it. And some streaky alien lines in here that are uh, messing with our view here. They need to uh, fix that. Um, and uh, going back a little bit further, I don't see too much more. 
uh, of the off-gassing, but it's uh, just a small amount that we're seeing there, so we'll leave that one be. And uh, we'll uh, put that back on live so we know where it's at. There it is right now, so uh, pretty cool. Uh, make sure I made these all small. I'm going to make uh, that one smaller. And, um, yep, that is it. So Sue got us the ice cream. The ice cream boat is way down there. Somebody else is uh, dogging it at the ice cream boat over there, too. They're trying to catch it. Um, Sue, did you see anyone else out there? They're trying to catch the ice cream boat. Uh, they must have uh, just just gotten awake there. Um, that is all good. Okay, um, it is a time to, uh, let's see, go back over here. We're going to do the uh, volcano report. So let me uh, see if I can uh, locate that uh, real quick. And uh, there we are. <clears throat> no, I uh, sped past them. Oh, okay. I bet you they didn't even see you uh, because you were in stealth mode again. Uh, anyway, for a late uh, Thursday's uh, volcanic activity, three volcanoes on the list. Ibiko, Paramashir Island, and the Corel Islands in Russia. A possible frequent, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, possible eruption observed uh, to uh, 10,000 feet at 3,000 meters, uh, reported at uh, 20 hundred. And uh, Sabancaya in Peru, unable to detect uh, to a 20, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm confused. Unable to detect to 20,000 feet. Six, uh, 6,100 meters reported at uh, 2130. Hmm. Okay, uh, so what What were they unable to detect at uh, 20,000 feet? All right, I'm confused. Um, so how do they know that height? Okay, never mind. Uh, Luotulak, Lesser Sunda Island, Indonesia. Discrete volcanic ash to 6,000 feet, 1,800 meters. Uh, uh, reported at 2230. Uh, I know it doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't, Sue. It's all messed up. I know you're just uh, uh, don't shoot the messenger kind of person. <laughs> it, uh, sometimes I wonder it's, um, yeah, I just uh, type the info. I think they, uh, they mess up sometimes. I, I think that's really what it is in the uh, translations. Um, what a vanilla with uh, uh, read uh, hints on the top. Oh boy, read hints. Okay, I, I don't know what those are. Anyway, um, all right, and uh, let's uh, continue on here. So, uh, Reventador, yeah, we got. No, we didn't. Uh, Reventador, uh, yeah, emissions to 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, reported at 1.45 a.m. Then uh, Semeru, East Java, Indonesia, uh, volcanic ash to 15,000 feet, uh, 4,600 meters, reported at 2.15 a.m. And then we have a separate report for there from uh, 3.45. And the volcanic ash to 15,000 feet, 4,600 meters, reported at 13.30. Next is Nevada del Ruz in Colombia. A volcanic ash not seen in satellite reported at 2.45 a.m. And then possible volcanic ash continuing reported at 10.15. A volcanic ash emissions to 21,000 feet, 6,400 meters reported at 18.30. So Nevada del Ruz been busy. And next is Santiago in Guatemala. And that is a volcanic ash not seen in satellite reported at 3.30 this morning. Then ongoing volcanic ash emissions to 14,000 feet, 4,300 meters, reported at 12.45. And next is Samancaya in Peru. And that is continuous ash emissions to 21,000 feet, 6,400 meters, reported at a 345 and then unable to detect reported at 1600 next is a uh, decono on helamahera island in indonesia continuous volcanic ash to 8000 feet 2400 meters reported at 5:30 this morning and then continuous volcanic ash emissions to 8000 feet 2400 meters 
reported at 17.30. And now we get to Fuego in Guatemala. Frequent volcanic ash emissions seen in satellite to 16,000 feet or 4,900 meters reported at 5.45 a.m. Then ongoing volcanic ash emissions to the same height, 16,000 feet, 4,900 meters, reported at 12 noon. And then a constant light volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters, reported at 1,800. And of course, Ibu has to get in there if the Kono was in there. Ibu, Halamahera Island, Indonesia, and discreetly putting out a volcanic ash to... Uh, <laughs> 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters. How high was the Kono? Only 8,000, I guess. Uh, Ibu wins today. And uh, thank you, Sue, for sending in that wonderful report. And we do have that one separate uh, thing that we got to show there. Uh, before we do that, though, uh, anyone who wants uh, another ice cream, uh, there is another ice cream boat inbound over on the uh, right there inbound ice cream boat and just so you know uh, that's going to dock over here so um, get your uh, booties ready uh, take an umbrella it looks like it's uh, starting to rain all right um, I'm going to uh, get uh, back over to Iceland though uh, or do we want to go there uh, no we wanted to go to the other spot so I can continue on with that and load that report wherever it went and there it is all right so there is our East Java uh, special and that is a Simaru uh, constant well near constant explosions uh, persist and uh, that is of course uh, coming off of a Simaru and uh, that is a not a bad shot we've uh, seen that before so uh, not a new surprise uh, the explosive uh, extrusive, uh, bleh, extrusive eruption at the volcano continues and uh, the active lava dome within the uh, young green uh, so, so what is it saloco a crater uh, continues to uh, grow Glow with a viscous, a fresh magma rising into it, making the dome vividly glow. Uh, minor uh, volcanian type uh, eruptions uh, continue to take a place from the uh, lava dome at uh, roughly uh, regular intervals of uh, 30 minutes, uh, generating a gray ash plumes. Emissions of ash arose to about 4.4 kilometers and drifted uh, to the uh, southwest over the uh, past few days. Um, the uh, PVMBG uh, Volcano Observatory reported a seismic signal with a maximum amplitude of uh, 22 millimeters and a duration of nine, uh, 109 seconds today. So that's uh, not that big, but it's uh, still sizable. Uh, the uh, volcano rain remains at a level of three and it just uh, tell, it talks about uh, people are advised to uh, stay away uh, don't get too darn close or you get hurt anyway and yeah this thing is a uh, spitting out fire of course you're gonna get hurt um, anyway we'll uh, leave that and uh, there's uh, some uh, youngins enjoying their day all right let's uh, leave uh, that be and we'll make that one smaller. What do we got uh, for time? Uh, not enough time to go through earthquakes. So we'll leave that for after the break. So, uh, oh, the Semaru. Uh, didn't I just do that? Oh, I, I did that. Um, yeah, okay. I was uh, looking at that. I'm trying to figure that out. Did you uh, not see it? Um, I, I thought I had it on there. Uh, top of the hour. All right, you confused me now, Sue. I, I thought I just showed it. <laughs> uh, now I got uh, things uh, moving around here. Why is uh, this one not showing up? Um, there we go. I'm back to the lava. All right, it's a time for me to take that break. So and those good people who are here, if you haven't yet bought that like button, I typed before you did it. Oh, okay. 
I didn't even see you type it. Uh, you're a secret typer. Stealth mode. You engage stealth mode. That's why I couldn't see it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go take that break. And uh, keep smiling, everyone. After the break, we'll get into earthquakes. And uh, then we'll take a look at SO2 around the planet. And then we'll uh, maybe uh, take a look at... Oh, what else are we going to look at? Uh, weather. Whether we like it or not. All right. On that note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'll be back in a few minutes. Yes, I'm still in stealth mode. Ah, but I see that. <laughs> yeah. All right. You must have turned it off. Okay. I'll be back. I'll get that music going. There we go. Don't go away. More to come. Hit the like button.
And there we go, microphone is back on, and welcome or welcome back everyone, I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000, you're watching Volcano X live stream, and thank you for the welcome backs there from Sasha, and Sue, and Kananaska's country, and King Colin, uh, welcome, I'm good to see you there, I'm the royal one, and uh, awesome. Um, anyway, I was going to make a little comment here. We are back into what uh, I refer to as cone building mode. And we're seeing that spatter landing on the edges of uh, the cone and building it higher and higher and higher. And uh, thanks, uh, Brian, uh, for the welcome back there as well. And uh, you can see every time it uh, throws a little bit out, uh, some of it lands on the... Uh, rim and some goes all the way um, all the way to the ground one of the things that is a little bit off here is when we look especially at the top two screens it you know it really looks like it hasn't grown much a couple things we gotta put into perspective here is that lava bed out in front that lava field it's actually risen <laughs> okay so it's growing and we know that it's growing up as well as the volcano so these are things to kind of put into a proper perspective it's um the bottom screens that are more telltale uh, at telling the actual heights and when you're looking at these shots anyway a lava has arisen yes it has and it is a pretty cool uh, sparks and uh, careful with uh, you don't know where those fingers have been uh, those poor eyeballs might get something in them and uh, let's go over and have a look at uh, the worldwide earthquakes gonna try to do uh, this one uh, really quickly uh, today and uh, nothing on the Kamchatka Peninsula uh, very a uh, little on the Aleutian Islands uh, just a uh, tiny little ones 2.2s sliding down North American coastal and um, we uh, see this one here a 4.0, a 78 kilometers west of, of Petrolia, California. And that may have been felt there and over here in uh, uh, Eureka is over there. Uh, what's the other one over here? Uh, darn it, I, I can't remember um, the other uh, town. Uh, but uh, that's okay. Um, anyway, um, starts with F. Darn it. Oh boy, a mental block. Let's uh, not worry about that though, um, but uh, that is right on the uh, um, plate boundary and between the Juan de Fuca plate and the Pacific plate. So uh, it uh, just slides along there. Ferndale area, that's it. Uh, thank you, Sue. I'm glad uh, you remember my uh, mental blocking has uh, just gone nuts. <laughs> anyway, uh, over here we see another one. It is on the north. Uh, northern east uh, uh, Pacific rise a uh, 4.6 just uh, pushing up against uh, that Cocos plate and on the other side here at um, that's uh, still part of uh, Mexico a uh, 4.2 and uh, that's from a uh, 14 uh, 32 35 clicks down uh, this one was a uh, 4.6 uh, uh, 10 kilometers down from a uh, 13 uh, 27 so uh, sliding uh, down a little further though, uh, we uh, don't see too much till we hit Chile and a 4.0, 1802, uh, three, uh, or sorry, 35 uh, kilometers down and this is a 4.1 also in Chile and uh, that is from 1502 yesterday or today, sorry, um, 1108 is at the time. I got messed up this morning. Uh, the uh, uh, first um, person that signed um, my uh, service order, uh, they, uh, they're supposed to put the date down on there, right, when they signed. And uh, uh, the, the lady totally had a mental block, and she put March 19th of uh, 25. <laughs> and I asked her, oh, we're in the future, are we? And she goes, oh, my God, did I really just do that? And I said, yeah, apparently. Uh, anyway, uh, this one here in Tonga, 4.6, and uh, 21.36 uh, is uh, the time on it from yesterday, 
at uh, 146.3 kilometers down another one in uh, Vanuatu and that's a 4.6 from 1402 today at 165 a point oh sorry 136 a point of five kilometers down uh 5.8 here in the solomon islands uh, shaking them a little bit and uh, 9 uh, 59 a.m our time and a uh, 41.6 kilometers down for that and uh, northern portions of the uh, banda sea area actually it's even a further banda sea is here this area but uh, this one is up in the north a uh, 4.4 and 1824 uh, uh, was the time on it 10 kilometers down don't see anything else along uh, the uh, uh, wonderful uh, there's a bali here and are there volcanoes on bali yeah a bunch of them one two uh, three four maybe and uh, maybe a whole bunch of other stuff uh, but the closest active one i think is egen and uh, that is uh, this guy right over here for those who need to know that uh, anyway, and uh, nothing along uh, Java, nothing at uh, Sumatra, going all the way into uh, Myanmar, everything is uh, good. And this one, of course, was a 4.4, so we'll leave him be. And uh, going up into Indonesia, we don't see anything until we get to Taiwan. A uh, 4.6, and uh, that's from 8 of 19 today, 17.8 kilometers down. And then over on the uh, populated side, a 4.6 for them. Uh, like they need another earthquake and uh, that is from uh, 1244 today uh, 3.2 kilometers down for that uh, moving up a little bit more <coughs> pardon me now we didn't see anything out here near Guam or the uh, Marianas and uh, we'll uh, grab uh, this guy here that is uh, from uh, 4.9 six kilometers southeast of Uken uh, Japan at uh, 3 a.m. our time 55.7 kilometers down and then uh, we've got uh, this one a uh, 4.7 uh, and uh, that is from 1107 today at uh, 23.2 clicks down a little further out I doubt uh, that they would have uh, noticed uh, too much uh, there in Tokyo don't see anything else over uh, there after uh, the Aleutians are not the um, uh, Corral Islands I meant uh, two in China here uh, on the bottom, 4.6 uh, from uh, 2304 yesterday, 10 kilometers down. The other one is another 4.6, 2203 and uh, 10 kilometers down. And a bigger one up here in uh, the mountains, uh, 5.1 at uh, 2.13 uh, a.m. our time at uh, 10 kilometers down. Not seeing anything in Tajikistan or Afghanistan in that area looking at down here nothing in africa and nothing in the arabian microplate the anatolian microplate or the aegean microplate everybody's quiet which is really good and nothing happening out here in the azores and let's see and we do have this one north of the yan mayan um now is that the same one that the other guys uh um, seen and this one is a 4.7 and that's from a 1618 today and uh, the other one that I thought we seen was over here somewhere so maybe that's supposed to be the same quake no the other one was a three point something maybe uh, that didn't get on this map but uh, that was over here so uh, they had uh, that one out there uh, 4.7 anyway 10 clicks down 1618 is at the time on it so um, that's uh, for Yan Mayan let's uh, take a look at Hawaii real quick I'm uh, gonna uh, do these ones uh, fairly quick uh, as well I'm not gonna worry about uh, at, uh, depth I'm just uh, gonna go with uh, size and time uh, 1.7 and this is uh, over at the uh, uh, Lenani Estates, and that is uh, from a 3:22 a.m. Uh, 1.7. Uh, let's grab uh, this guy here, and uh, that is a 1.6, a 17:32. Uh, uh, this one is a 1.8 from a 21:16 yesterday, and uh, this one right here is a 1.9, and uh, that is uh, from a 6:32 closest to uh, the uh, actual caldera there for Kilauea 
and that happened at 900 meters below sea level we got that guy already let's grab these other two out here a 2.7 122 a.m and 2.0 from a 1238 and this one is a 2.6 from a 23 at 12 yesterday this one is a 2.0 26 minutes after midnight and a 1.9 from a 1.59 a.m. 1.8 from a 9.58 a.m. And uh, then we've got uh, this guy. And we're seeing a 2.3, 8.17. Uh, this one is a 2.2 from a 3.59. And the newest one on land, a 2.5 from a 7, uh, sorry, 18.33. And then we got this guy out here, 2.0 from 11.44. That gives you our Hawaiian quakes. And nothing too crazy or special going on there. That's all good. Let's uh, get right into our uh, uh, other uh, places here. And that is over to uh, windy.com. And uh, let's see if it uh, left me the... SO2, uh, it, it didn't. I have to go through this again. Ah, all right. Um, where the heck was it? It was under the menu, and we wanted SO2. Uh, air quality, where's air quality? A clouds ways, uh, no, a cloud base, no, not what we we're looking for. These are not the things we are looking for. Uh, no, and that is not it either. I should have bookmarked it. Is that my... No, that's a thunderstorms. Where's my SO2 gone? Um, I don't see it. A wind. What about under there? I am messed up, and I uh, thought I had uh, saved this uh, bookmark yesterday, but I guess I didn't. Um, where uh, have they put the SO2. You know, they've improved it so much that you can't find anything is what they've done. <laughs> um, I, I prefer the old system. It was uh, so much easier. Oh, boy, oh, boy. No, a radar doesn't uh, do that. I will uh, block that. Um, where the heck did my SO2 go? Um, I have, I got to find that. Uh, it used to be so easy to uh, get to, uh, but it just uh, has uh, changed so much. I don't know why they've uh, done this. It's uh, really uh, hard to uh, see anything. Um, where the heck is air quality? Uh, that's a wind reports, a time, airports. I, I don't care about airports. No hurricanes, a 3D map, no, a zoom in, zoom out, no. Um, where is uh, air quality? Air quality, there we go, SO2, I found it. All right, that is a better, and look, they even got a little volcano to show that SO2. That is a pretty cool. All right, let's get rid of that, and we'll do this real quick. So... Um, yeah, zooming in, uh, Kamchatka Peninsula, uh, we've got a Shivalash, uh out the uh, top, and uh, Klyashevskoy and Bezimiani, and of course uh, Karimsky and uh, Matnovsky, uh, they're the ones uh, doing their thing there, and then down here we got Ibiko and uh, Chikari, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the other one, uh, Chick of something or other. <laughs> anyway, it's Ibico that's uh, doing most of it. Uh, so that's what we're seeing there. I'm unsure of where this is coming from. Uh, this is a little odd, unless this is uh, the uh, some kind of a plume that came out of here. But it is heading there. Uh, yeah, Chikaratsky. It is. Okay, I got it. Thanks, Sue. And that's awesome. Um, and we see some SO2 uh, clearing uh, there in Alaska. It's not so bad. Oh, lighter uh, layers in uh, the Yukon, Northwest Territories, even less. And it uh, looks like a BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, uh, even uh, lots of uh, none of it. And Ontario and Quebec are pretty much clear. Same as uh, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, 
and uh, Cran uh, what is it? Uh, Corner Brook, uh, no, uh, Newfoundland, and Labrador. As uh, I'm looking, not bad. We do have a little bit up here, and uh, looks like a Baffin Island's got a little bit, and then of course in uh, northern Quebec. Uh, seeing that a plume, though up in uh, Greenland, not unusual. And uh, the industrial basket here, uh, not uh, throwing too much in. Now we got a bunch of rainstorms happening in uh, this area, and that might be a big system. Uh, looks like a double low, and that will end up heading east, so we'll see what happens in the future. Uh, northwest looks uh, pretty good of uh, the U.S., uh, southwest and uh, not uh, quite as bad good and uh, we uh, do see uh, we've got this extra stuff coming in off of uh, the ocean and uh, that is getting into uh, most of uh, California Arizona Utah and the uh, parts of uh, Mexico and we see uh, this uh, plume here from Popo Cathy pedal getting further and further out and then of course uh, the Mexico City area and Popo Cathy pedal right there covered heavily uh, central america and uh, not uh, too bad uh, pretty uh, normal uh, stuff going into uh, the ocean uh, into the uh, pacific we don't see a separate plume from uh, fernandina out here on the galapagos uh, southern kayak not uh, bad and then it looks like uh, pretty normal for uh, chile and uh, pretty uh, normal well actually even less uh, there for rio uh, today but if we zoom out, we see all this SO2 down on the bottom uh, southern hemisphere. Whoa, what happened uh, there? Uh, and boy, I messed up a big time. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that should be uh, just about right there. Okay, I hope. All right, um, so yeah, uh, lots of SO2 down there. It kind of makes me wonder, where's it coming from? right and when we go around we see uh, a lot in uh, this area here in the uh, um, areas of um, where our volcanic activity is um, you got South Sandwich Islands here and uh, this whole area is a volcanic so I'm not a surprise to see some of it uh, come from here but uh, along the bottoms here I, I don't know where it's coming from and and the fact that it's sitting over top of uh, Antarctica is kind of interesting. Anyway, a white isle volcano continuing to uh, do its thing there uh, north of uh, New Zealand. Uh, pretty uh, normal uh, there for um, Australia. Still see uh, the uh, Tonga uh, happening uh, there. And uh, Yasur is uh, putting out a little bit more. Gawa and Naoba, uh, all of them here in Vanuatu. Abrams uh, doing uh, their thing and uh, Papua New Guinea pretty normal and uh, this of course uh, coming from Luotola um, um, and uh, that is uh, pretty awesome and then uh, the other stuff here this lobe no hang on uh, this lobe will be uh, coming from probably um, our uh, Luotobai Laki Laki and uh, there's uh, from uh, Semeru on East Java and uh, I don't think that is uh, from Merapi. I really don't. I think uh, they've got something going on over here. Uh, nobody's telling us about Merapi is over here. So um, anyway, it looks uh, pretty cool. And it looks like uh, Jakarta is uh, doing its thing with higher levels as well as uh, Krakatau uh, keeping up that pace. So we may see some new activity uh, coming from uh, Krakatau in uh, the future. Uh, looking here, currency and uh, Marapi uh, creating a lot of uh, this stuff. And then uh, moving uh, further up, we see our, our wonderful Cinnabung uh, doing its thing uh, there on uh, Sumatra. And then uh, sliding over real quick. Ibu and uh, Dekono have been uh, busy. They're battling uh, for uh, spots. Let's see uh, what we got. I'm uh, pretty normal looking in the Philippines. I'm not going to get too overwhelming. Uh, normal uh, there in uh, uh, Taiwan, industrial stuff. Uh, Subodosi Jima right there, and uh, not that much coming from it. Sakura Jima right in here. And of course, Aso, I've uh, got a lot of a uh, long plume there doing its thing. Let's uh, move up to uh, Tokyo, and uh, Tokyo's uh, right in here. 
it looks like uh, Asama is uh, continuing to put out stuff and it looks like it's heading southward as well. And uh, that brings us uh, back up to the uh, Kamchatka. Uh, so we'll uh, look at uh, China, pretty normal, really heavy uh, stuff in there in India today. And we see a couple little blue spots, which is actually really nice. Uh, Sri Lanka, pretty normal. Pakistan, a normal. Uh, South Africa, gold smelting going on uh, there. Uh, Nyamur Gira near Congo, uh, here in uh, the uh, Democratic Republic of uh, the Congo, doing uh, their thing. And Urta Ale, here in the uh, Danakil uh, Depression, uh, doing exactly what it uh, needs to do. Uh, lots of SO2 from it. The other stuff up here from uh, these heavy red spots, including uh, this one, and along um, Iraq, uh, sorry, um, Israel and uh, Lebanon and those places, and it's oil refinery stuff. And let's see, uh, Piggy's uh, level here on uh, at her place would be uh, somewhere around uh, 10.36. That's uh, not that good. I hope she gets uh, some cleaner air. And uh, she's got headaches and things, so uh, hopefully uh, that'll help uh, if uh, they get clean air. Mount Etna, and you can see it is uh, pluming off the SO2 there. And then a Stromboli uh, right in that spot uh, doing its thing. And the rest uh, looks uh, not bad for Europe. It looks like Europe has green measles, all of it, all over the place. And uh, not uh, bad for everyone uh, there, though. Um, looks like uh, Norway and uh, uh, Sweden are uh, being infected as well. Same as uh, Finland, but uh, they're not that bad up north yet. Wait till it uh, picks up. And uh, even the infection has uh, moved. These green dots are over here in Iceland. We see SO2 that came down. This is not necessarily from our volcano. So uh, that is uh, kind of what we see there. And you can see that whole plume up top here. Svalbard are kind of uh, covered in heavier layers. All right, it's a uh, time for a break, and uh, after the break, we will do our weather, whether we like it or not. So hang in there, everyone, and uh, for those good people who are here, if you have uh, not yet bought that like button, give it a quick shot. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed, consider subscribing. That'd be really cool and awesome. On that a friendly note, I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000. I'll be back after the break. Keep smiling and hear some music to keep you happy. I'll be back.
and there we go microphone is a back on welcome or welcome back everyone i'm your host dr fox 2000 and it is a beautiful uh, volcano x on live stream love that lava and it's a just absolutely awesome uh restless caldera yep and um, there's uh, some of those uh, thank you for the uh, welcome backs there uh, from uh, Sasha and uh, Sue and Sharon Stewart uh, chiming in with I hear you Dr. Fox 2000 and uh, thanks I can and ask his country and uh, yeah awesome um, beautiful uh, lava flows and a little bit of a outbreaking in the front there so uh, we'll uh, see more lava that's what we need more lava anyway uh, let's uh, go over and take a look at our weather map uh is uh, what it, it is a beautiful dock yeah thank you thank you i uh, know <laughs> all the good uh chiming in and with a uh, chimes uh, woohoo a uh, dock yeah anyway uh, there's our weather map and the first thing I look for is, hey, where's the storms? I, I don't see any storms. We want storms. What is this? This is a very a tight circulation. It's only a low, though. Uh, no storms are there. All right. Uh, doesn't look like there's any major storms on the planet. We uh, do see everything here is a pretty normal bunch of uh, lows and highs uh, sitting all over the place we are starting to see a warmer climates uh, there and the uh, Kamchatka Peninsula and the uh, warmer air uh, blowing up into uh, the uh, Bering Sea uh, still looks cold up here though in the uh, Bering Strait in uh, that area uh, looks like uh, the uh, Gulf of Alaska not so bad there and a pretty nasty low there, uh, just uh, I guess uh, northwest of uh, Hawaii, quite a ways though. It's uh, not that close or anything, so um, it may affect them, but it is uh, drawing up some of that warmer air. They might have a, uh, a breeze a change. Anyway, uh, looking at um, what we've got for uh, Alaska, it's a little bit uh, warmer as well as uh, the Yukon. And Northwest Territories seeing some uh, temperature come up and uh, still holding in at this point in time at 10 degrees. Uh, that is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, that's warmer than a lot of uh, places here in British Columbia. So, um, you know, even up here, uh, we are seeing up to uh, 4 degrees all along the uh, Mackenzie River here. And uh, that will end up causing that to break up soon. Um, if you've ever seen, well, I have, <laughs> if you've ever seen the Mackenzie River, it's a huge river, by the way, um, it uh, rivals the big ones, so um, Mackenzie River has a, a huge amount of water flow, and when the uh, breakup comes in the spring, and it starts to move, it's uh, just amazing, some of those uh, pieces of ice are uh, maybe uh, 10 meters thick and uh, so a uh, 30 feet 35 feet and uh, when they they start pushing along um, they can easily push up onto the land because that water pressure from behind is just forcing it and uh, they can uh, yeah um, you know basically uh, when I was up in uh, uh, when I seen was uh, it uh, pushed really hard up on the shore when I was up in, uh, uh, what the heck is it, uh, Fort uh, Simpson. Um, and, uh, you know, these blocks were huge. And they showed pictures in uh, their museum there, the local museum of, uh, in, uh, what was it, 1986 or something. Uh, they had ice blocks coming down their main street and they were uh, uh, 25, 30 feet tall. They would took out all the power lines and because uh, they were too tall, they wouldn't go underneath them and stuff. And uh, it was uh, just a total disaster for uh, Fort Simpson because everyone had to evacuate. And these ice blocks, they're so huge. There's nothing you can do to stop them. 
and that is the way it is and yeah it's basically yeah the ice jam uh, breaking up is, is what it is the ice so a uh, very uh, very interesting and uh, that uh, was uh, when I seen those ice blocks and uh, it's, uh, it's an experience I've never had before um, I've, I've seen rivers break up and you know you might get a meter or two of ice jamming up or a little bit uh, thicker even but um, to see something uh, 10 meters or uh, 30 feet tall um, sitting on the side of uh, the banks uh, after it got pushed up and uh, and literally when uh, you're uh, there when it is breaking up it sounds like a thousand freight trains going through uh, because of all that ice cracking and pushing and it is an incredible noise um, that I uh, that's one of the things that uh, struck me I, I didn't ever think it would be that loud but it, it's uh, just amazing how noisy it is uh, when it uh, breaks up so um, it's a uh, pretty cool anyway I'm looking at pretty uh, warm there in uh, southern Saskatchewan and Alberta and uh, even uh, down here in uh, Manitoba a little bit and not so warm there in uh, northern Ontario, but as soon as you get into uh, Quebec, things warm up a little bit. And then, of course, we see it's not a bad in Labrador or a Newfoundland, but, uh, you know, uh, we uh, go look here at uh, Nova Scotia, and uh, they're in the tropical uh, temperatures again. Uh, Sue, what's your attempt there? I'm not trying to find it. It's here somewhere. Coal Harbor. 11 degrees? Are you kidding me? <laughs> um, yeah, that's a, wow. That's a warm. Very, very warm. She's probably hunting for a cold temperatures. She snuck away for hunting for cold temperatures. I'm telling Sue, I know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, anyway, we're uh, sneaking along here looking at uh, places like Boston is 11, uh, New York is 11, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina is uh, uh, 12 or so. Uh, we got a uh, 14 in Grandma B's house. Yes, 11C uh, sounds about right. Okay, did you find good temperatures? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and let's see Atlanta coming in at a 14 and that's a not so bad Miami sitting at only a 22 could be a little warmer there uh, Orlando sitting at 18 Jacksonville is a 19 so not bad uh, while we're over here Cancun coming in at a 25 uh, looking at the um, northwest western areas and we got Portland at the 16 Spokane sitting at a 10, Eugene is a 14. I'm a curious on what's in here. A Medford 17, Reading a 16. So uh, Sacramento uh, coming in at a 15. And uh, San Francisco about 13, 12. And then the Bakersfield uh, starts to warm up at a 25. Death Valley uh, coming in at a whopping uh 32 degrees and do we have a 33 in here somewhere and uh, no a 32 so uh, that is okay uh las vegas uh, 26 today and phoenix of course uh, roasting in the sun at uh, 28 degrees wow uh, mexicali 26 la not quite so warm uh, 13 14 15 depending on where you are down in anaheim it's 15 and uh, Oxnard is uh, what a uh, 14 up at top there so hopefully uh, they'll all stay warm and uh, Mexico City uh, down on the bottom here we've got uh, let's see uh, about a 19 to a 20 yeah maybe a 16 to 20 uh, degrees a big swing because of uh, it is in uh, a valley kind of thing and but it is up on the plateau so um, well, maybe it's not that bad of a swing. I was getting into this stuff over here. Uh, it looks like uh, most of uh, that is uh, 20, 21 degrees there. So not bad. And we got some uh, 35s, 36s there. And there's a 38. Uh, so uh, Mexico has a 38 degrees. Uh, that's a pretty good high for today. 
uh, Acapulco sitting at a 28 and a sliding a further down we I don't see anything that's uh, too uh, overly uh, whelming and hot and not quite as hot on the Yucatan uh, Peninsula but uh, you go along the uh, western side and we are seeing a very high temperatures of san miguel is setting up a 31 and uh, still going further down here into uh, costa rica they've got some places at 31 as well and uh, colombia uh, starts to get a little bit more on the hot side we're seeing a 35 is in the high of air 34s a bunch of that uh, but uh, thankfully it's not quite that hot all the way through the jungle only 32 there <laughs> for the most part and um, we uh, see uh, 27 and up except for up on the higher uh, elevations in the mountains and uh, looking at uh, what we see here 33s or uh, 34s there's some uh, 35s there in Venezuela as well and again, uh, the highlands are a little bit uh, cooler, but uh, they even look uh, pretty warm. Uh, 17, about the coldest, and that is uh, pretty cool, uh, or warm. Uh, 31 in Boa Vista, uh, that area about uh, 30, 31, 32. Uh, over here in uh, Guayaquil, uh, 28 degrees. Uh, Lima coming in at uh, 21. Uh, where is uh, Santiago? Uh, there it is, uh, 12 degrees uh, down on the bottom there. Uh, looking at Rio de Janeiro, uh, we've got a 22. Not quite so hot in uh, these uh, other countries here. And uh, Bolivia or uh, Paraguay, it looks like that cold is really creeping up into uh, uh, Argentina. Uh, Buenos Aires uh, only sitting in about 17 uh, right now. Paysandu coming in at 18 and uh, going up a little bit more. Uh, we uh, see up to a 28 in uh, Paraguay here. That's uh, not that high of a temperature. And uh, looking uh, further south, looks like uh, we've got stormy conditions for uh, South Sandwich Islands. And uh, going over here, uh, we uh, see New Zealand, uh, South Island, uh, not so toasty today. 11 degrees in Christchurch. Uh, North Island, uh, we're looking at Wellington at uh, 15. Uh, Hastings are uh, sitting at 18, uh, not bad there. Taupo, 14. Hamilton uh, 17 and Auckland 18 and we see up to a 19 degrees up on the peninsula so uh, definitely a lot colder uh, going over to Hobart and we're seeing a 17 there and uh, just around the edges here I, I just want to scoot around up to a 19 degrees but the west side looks uh, quite cold a little 10 is about the coldest we see there so um, still not that great, but not that bad. Uh, Melbourne is a 16-17, uh, home of Leo, of course, and a 17 over in Adelaide. Uh, Sydney coming in at uh, 22, and home of Oz uh, sitting at uh, 25, 26 degrees. You know, that is a, a wonderful uh, temperature that place has all year round, um, up to uh, the 30s in the hot season, and uh, the uh, cool season is somewhere about uh, 20 plus <laughs> i don't know for a retirement uh, that might be good right um nice place to live uh looking at four of those uh, warmer temperatures only see up to 31 so far there's a 33 in there and uh, continuing on looking and searching and only see about 33 for the high and uh, there in uh, australia so that's not gonna win over a top of a Mexico and we see a pretty a normal Fiji 28-29 uh, New Caledonia anywhere from a 24 to 27 Vanuatu uh, about a normal to a 28-29 degrees and uh, looking at uh, Papua New Guinea we see the uh, shorelines here are quite heated up and uh, some of that jungle stuff as well uh, sitting up in uh, that 30 degree uh, temperature all over uh, New Guinea, uh, or Papa, uh, pa I should say. Uh, Papa New Guinea is uh, the stuff on this side of the line. This is Eastern Indonesia. And uh, let's see, uh, Timor last up to a 30 there. Uh, Bali sitting up to a 30 degrees as well. 
uh, Java uh, very very close to that as well and uh, doing uh, some awesome uh, things so uh, yeah and that's uh, 28 uh, Jakarta 29 uh, moving further up Sumatra is actually a little warmer today as well and then uh, getting up into um, uh, the rest of the country is here in Bangkok sitting at about uh, 32 and I just want to scan across here make sure I didn't miss any uh, high temps and we got a uh, 32s yeah and um, that area what do we got over here oh there's a 34 here in Myanmar and uh, that is a uh, pretty uh, interesting so almost there and the uh, Manila has a 31 with a 35 in the background almost the same as uh, Mexico and just a a couple of degrees off yet uh, so far Mexico still uh, the leader anyway uh, let's uh, take a look here at uh, Kagoshima sitting at uh, 17 and uh, Tokyo is uh, 19 degrees uh, Sapporo up in the north a whopping 18 degrees and uh, they must be cooking up there Kamchatka Peninsula uh, really a uh, toasty up to 11 in some places yet that is a uh, very uh, very uh, awesome and uh, yeah china doing its uh, thing and then of course we uh, take a look at uh, delhi 22 degrees and descart uh, uh dark uh, what is it uh anyway 27 there um i'm uh, just uh, trying to all of a sudden can't think of the damn name oh sorry never mind <laughs> just uh, odd thoughts, uh, 27, 28 there, um, in, uh, Sri Lanka, and as we uh, go here, South Africa, kind of cold, uh, we see a 13 uh, down on the bottom, Johannesburg uh, sitting at 12, uh, the rest looks a little bit warmer, um, and, uh, what have we got, I'm uh, looking for a really uh, warm temps here. I don't think there is any, uh, so uh, seeing up to a 34, 35 is right in here, so uh, that is uh, still not beating in Mexico, and uh, let's see uh, what else uh, we got going on, and uh, nothing over there in uh, Saudi Arabia, that's anything uh, too crazy, 21 in uh, Riyadh, uh, Cairo uh, coming in at uh, 16, and if we uh, take a look at a uh, piggy's house, uh, she's got about 18 degrees and uh, moving over and uh, taking a look at uh, Catania uh, we see uh, 15 uh, there, Redenzo 10 uh, moving up to uh, Naples and uh, where are we there, oh, there we go, uh, 17 uh, warming up there too eh? and uh, we've got 15 in Rome and uh, that is uh, pretty nice uh, still a little on the cool side in uh, Madrid, Lisbon uh, 17 and then uh, Tantos, a uh, home of uh, uh, Nantes, is uh, 11. What happened to Tanto? I haven't seen Tanto for a couple of weeks here. Uh, I hope uh, she's okay. Uh, 13 in uh, Paris. Uh, Munich uh, coming in at 8. Uh, Frankfurt is 11. Uh, Cologne is uh, 14. And uh, 13 or 14 at Yvonne Kunkel's house at home, if she's listening. And... Um, <laughs> If we, uh, we got uh, Brussels here at uh, 14, Amsterdam uh, sitting at uh, 12, uh, Berlin uh, sitting at, uh, what do we got, uh, 13, and uh, Hamburg is at uh, 10, uh, Copenhagen uh, coming in at uh, 10 as well, Aarhus even at uh, 10 degrees, and that's uh, good for them. Uh, four in Oslo, Stockholm, seven, and we've got uh, three uh, there in Helsinki. And then we get over to uh, London and uh, taking a look at uh, 12 degrees for those guys right now. That's actually pretty nice for nighttime temperatures. And uh, 10 uh, there in Leeds. <coughs> uh, drainage of basin of the Mackenzie River is huge. Second only to the Mississippi uh, drainage uh, uh, basin. Uh, yep, that's uh, absolutely correct. Uh, Mackenzie River is uh, crazy. Anyway, at uh, 12 degrees uh, there, or sorry, um, nine, yeah, 12 in the leads, I think it was, 10 in leads, my bad, 
and uh, we've got uh, eight or nine in uh, Glasgow, uh, ten in Aberdeen, uh, getting over to uh, Dublin. Uh, there's a uh, twelve, and Irish Monk's Place uh, sitting at about ten degrees. I'm uh, moving up to Iceland, which is holding up to its name. It's a very cold fire and ice, and that's the way it goes. And we got the zero in Reykjavik, and we got uh, minus a one in Reykjansbar, and we got minus two in Grindavik. And we got minus two at a volcano. Where's the hot spot? There should be a hot spot here somewhere. Uh, a lot warmer than a minus two. Anyway, uh, let's uh, go find some cold temperatures. Uh, really a cold attempts, uh, like a South Pole type. Uh, let's see uh, what we got here. Uh, so far I've seen a minus 71 right in uh, there. Uh, but uh, we uh, see a bunch of lows and stuff going around. Let's see if we can uh, find something a little uh, colder. Uh, up in here is where we had the uh, cold stuff before. Let's uh, take a look. Minus uh, 73, 74, 75, uh, right in uh, that region. Uh, minus uh, 75, and uh, do we have a minus uh, 76? Looking uh, for minus uh, 76, I uh, don't see one here. Uh, 75, so uh, that's for sure. And uh, still uh, no 76. Okay, uh, there's uh, got to be other areas uh, then that are that temperature because I'm not seeing it. And uh, let's see if we can uh, spot anything here. Minus 60. Uh, further over. Am I missing something? Uh, 60 something. There's a 71 again there. 72. Uh, 73 uh, right in uh, there. Okay, uh, but I'm still not seeing a minus a 76 is what I'm uh, looking for. And, uh, whoop, uh, I zoomed out too far. Maybe uh, that's a part of the problem. Depends on how far you zoom out on this uh, map. It uh, gives you those uh, different uh, levels of uh, temperature. Um, there, there, where are we? Right there. 73, 74s in uh, there. That's uh, that patch. There's a uh, 75. And uh, just uh, no 76. No. Uh, Sue uh, probably sat there and waited for it to change. Uh, kidding. Oh, oh, hang on. I think I might have found it. It's in there. Right there. It's minus uh, 76 degrees. Yay, I did it. And uh, Sue was hunting like crazy for it, I betcha. All right, um, well, I got that in there. And that's um, cool that I tied. And uh, let's uh, go up to uh, Greenland and see uh, what we can uh, find uh, there. And the uh, Greenland's uh, warm. Um, let's see, a uh, minus uh, 45, uh, 46, uh, right uh, there. Let's uh, go find uh, that uh, 47 that's got to be in uh, there as well. And I'm just looking here, 45, 46. Let's uh, zoom in. All right, uh, 46. And uh, I don't see anything. Uh, 45s. Oh, uh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, she's uh, done it again. Snuck one in there. There's a minus of 46. Uh, oh, I seen a minus a 47 in there. I think uh, that will work. And that's about the only one though, and that's a very small spot. And that's uh, down to minus 47. And uh, I'm happy I found it. Okay, so minus a 47, and I, I don't think there's anything uh, colder up in the north. We'll uh, take a look now in Canada, eh? And let's uh, see uh, what we've got. We got minus a 39 right there. Let's see if, is there, yeah, there's a minus a 40. Uh, so he got minus a 40 right there. That's a pretty uh, cold. Um, let's uh, just uh, double check and make sure we aren't leaving something behind somewhere else. And uh, what about up here? Minus 34. Nope. Uh, so 
Um, that a minus of 40 is about as cold as I think it will be. And um, let's see what else we got in here. Nothing I'm right there. No, I minus, and that's not even on land. There we go. And back to that minus 40. I was hoping for minus 41 in here, but I'll live with a minus 40 for now. And the other area we can't tell, doesn't look like it. So, uh, minus 40, and let's uh, go over to uh, Alaska. Uh, just, just checking over here. Uh, okay, never mind. I'm uh, going uh, to Alaska. Uh, Alaska is got uh, all that warm temperature uh, blowing upon it. And this is going to be harder than uh, one thinks. One must come over here to mountainous places. Uh, minus 19 uh, is uh, what I see uh, right there. What about right there? Oh, uh, there's a minus uh, 20 right uh, there. Yay, a minus uh, 20. Uh, so, yeah, a minus a 20 for Alaska. I guess I'll, I'll take a minus 20 for Alaska. And it looks like I'll we'll find uh, what we can uh, spot here in Russia. And uh, let's see, uh, we are looking for uh, something uh, cold. Uh, it looks like it's uh, pretty warm here. Islands are fair game, of course. And... Um, we are seeing uh, there a minus a 31s. Let's see if we uh, have a, a 32 in here. Um, and uh, so far not seeing yet a minus a 30s. And a 30, uh, yeah, still a 30s in there. Let's see, uh, what about up at top here? Um, uh, through uh, this path, minus a 31. Oh, there's a minus a 32, and that is right in this little patch. So and that's a good sign. A minus a 32 so far, and uh, I, I don't know if we're going to see anything uh, colder than that right now. Uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, the other uh, spots here and uh, just double check and make sure we're not missing something here. There's another a minus a 31. Let's uh, zoom in on it. And uh, yep, a minus a 31, a one little, a tiny spot in there. And you know, you if you don't check, you would never know. Um, anyway, that is a pretty cool. Uh, get it? It's cool. Uh, it's a cold. It's a freezing. Uh, what about right here? Minus a 31 again. Um, but we'll uh, take that minus 32 that I uh, found up at top there. What about this area? Uh, what's uh, this patch? Minus a uh, 29. Not cold enough. Okay, I will uh, live with a minus a uh, 32. And uh, that is uh, good. I'll uh, leave it as that. So that's it uh, for uh, today. And uh, a dock finds in Alaska 20 degrees. Winds by a uh, 1 degree. Oh, and a tide in Russia. Oh, boy. Uh, Sue, was it a first degree beating today? <laughs> I had to ask. I'm just curious. Um, anyway, at that, uh, I'm glad I didn't get that beating. Uh, overall, one degree a win for Doc. Yep, it was a chilly uh, time, but we made it happen. Uh, wow, uh, Mackenzie River uh, discharge rate is uh, four times uh, that of the Nile Ra River uh, discharge. Yep, uh, Mackenzie River equals, uh, uh, what is it, uh, 350,000 uh, cubic feet per second. Nile is only 99,000, uh, or basically 100,000 uh, cubic feet per second. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, the Mackenzie River is not to be trifled with <laughs> uh, like i said when when the uh, the the uh, 30 foot high blocks of ice go scooting down the street and they're getting pushed like a train and they make a lot of noise it's it's a huge a huge river so um yeah uh, anyway uh canonaskas country good night to you uh, be good and enjoy your night 
Uh, big thanks uh, to you all, uh, moderators, Piggy, CMB Boy, uh, Hayne, okay, uh, uh, Sue Hayes, uh, yep, and uh, the rest in the lounge. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the great stream. You're welcome, Sue. Uh, totally mesmerizing, uh, Doc. Uh, thanks uh, for uh, telling us about the Mackenzie River. Um, yeah, well, you're welcome uh, there. Um, it, it was uh, an experience. Like, honestly, it was a, a heck of an experience, and I really did enjoy it. It really doesn't uh, depict it as well on here. Um, I'm wondering if I should actually maybe bring up a real map and just show the Mackenzie. Uh, let me see if I can just uh, go on uh, Google Maps and uh, Google, oops, and uh, Google uh, Maps. Uh, maps, maps, there. Whoops. Um, well, I'll try that. And uh, Google Maps. Let's see if we can uh, go uh, take a look and, and just show what it actually looked like up there. So, uh, Mackenzie River, of course, uh, flows out of the uh, Greater Slave Lake and has a bunch of uh, tributaries uh, to it, right? And the uh, place where I was was up here in Fort Simpson. And uh, basically, um, what ended up happening, of course, we have the ice surges here. This is a town here and uh, the ice surges come down at the Mackenzie. They uh, clear off this island. Um, this uh, it was uh, kind of funny. They made a, um, a thing about it, all these islands here. Uh, they uh, used to have trees growing on them, and uh, they will for maybe a year or two, and then the next year after that, you get those bulldozers that uh, takes you out. Um, this area called uh, the Flats, uh, that's uh, carved out. Uh, the uh, dirt is basically carved away from uh, the ice. And uh, the worst part is where Fort Simpson sits, it's actually on an island. Uh, so um, we, uh, the, uh, when they talk about the ice flow coming in uh, through here as well, and uh, literally through town, if you're not uh, ready to go uh, when the uh, river breaks, uh, you could be in trouble because your only place uh, out here is this bridge. And um, if you have a few of those, uh, doesn't it flow into the Arctic? Yes, it, it does. It uh, flows from uh, this side and going uh, that way. And then, of course, uh, here uh, is the... Uh, uh, Liard, Liard River is uh, the other one that flows into it right here at Fort Simpson. And uh, there's a bunch of more that uh, flow in here, of course. You can see them all over the place. But um, it's a very, very dangerous uh, spot, uh, really. And that, of course, will flow up to the north. And uh, there's some more tributaries uh, coming in and uh, getting even uh, bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, then, uh, of course, these are more tributaries. As uh, we uh, zoom out a little bit, you can see um, it. Um, uh, this uh, Camsell Bend area, that is uh, another one of those places where you have, when the river breaks, um, you have everything uh, kind of messing up um, because it's going around a corner. And uh, anyway, it uh, continues on, and there's all kinds of other rivers and uh, tributaries are going into it, but uh, by the time it gets up, uh, way up here, it creates this huge, huge delta area. And this is uh, something that is uh, really quite interesting to see. You see how this is all washed out and all these literally, um, I guess, well, we'll call them thousands of little lakes uh, that is all part of all these glacial, uh, um, well, not glacial, but uh, river breakups. Uh, the ice pushing across that, the volume of uh, ice uh, carving out different paths. So it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty.
pretty cool, pretty awesome. Um, you know, and uh, people live up there. Um, some of these places, um, when the uh, river breaks, they basically evacuate and wait till the river's done doing its thing. Then they go back uh, a couple of uh, uh, weeks uh, later or something like that. Um, Inuvik uh, up here, and there's another one of those uh, places that is uh, really in the sticks, but uh, uh, you can see where it is again along the Mackenzie. Although it's not directly along the Mackenzie, it's a little ways in. Um, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that is a one heck of a long river um, when it goes down here. And what else flows into it? I can't remember. There's a more uh, stuff that uh, flowed into, uh, well, other than the... Uh, um, uh, Great uh, Slave Lake, of course, and that is the primary source of the water. And uh, and this thing runs all year, you know. So even when even when the um, Great Lake is uh, frozen over, it still runs out uh, quite uh, heavily. So and it's a huge. Anyway, um, that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave it as that. I thought it was a nice little a thing to uh, add that the Mackenzie River. Uh, it's an experience that um, I will remember for the rest of my life. Uh, it's uh, just like, uh, you know, your first volcano. <laughs> um, while we're looking here, though, uh, as I end the show, we'll uh, put it onto uh, this screen. We can see these uh, multiple outbreaks happening and going slightly north northwest. And uh, that is uh, pretty cool from uh, the lava pond. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you, everyone, uh, for being here. I appreciate all of you. And uh, whether you're uh, a member or non-member, you're all uh, still part of that lava family. So uh, thanks for being here. And, of course, uh, for... Um, uh, a uh, big uh, thank you for the uh, moderators, uh, Arizona Snowman and Piggy and uh, Sue and the uh, CND Boy, as well as uh, Gura and Yvonne Kunko and uh, um, who else? And we got Siggy and uh, did I uh, say uh, Gary? No, not yet. <laughs> Gary, uh, 24 7 Live, he's at Skies. Always in the background, you know, uh, some of those guys. So, um, all cool. Anyway, enjoy the uh, lava. Of course, the stream stays on all night. Wow, Grandma B, uh, you are the uh, first and only uh, super chat of uh, the uh, the day uh, or night. And uh, thank you uh, for that, uh, Grandma B. And uh, I appreciate that, that Grandma B. That uh, pays the power bill. All right. Thank you very kindly. Um, good night to everyone. Uh, please uh, take care. Remember, tomorrow is Saturday, so Volcano X will be on early. And uh, that'll might be uh, nice for you guys. And uh, I'm going to go do a bunch of shopping tomorrow. And we'll uh, see how that goes. <laughs> uh, I hate shopping. All right. Um, on that uh, friendly note, it's a time for me to say good night to everyone though. Take care everybody. Uh, be good and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. And uh, only other thing I'm going to add is uh, please, please tell your loved ones that you love them tonight for tomorrow is never promised. I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000. We'll see everyone uh, tomorrow. Take care. Good night and oink oink.
Thank you.